Good morning. Welcome to the banjo. You like to do flies? Well, guess what? Today's exercise is flies, but I'm going to take you through not just how to do them, but what's the most effective way to go ahead and use resistance bands to do them. Let's go ahead and hit it. You know, one of the first ways that I see flies being done is by just simply taking a band and wrapping it around your arms and guys or gals doing flies like this. Now, I understand it's an easy way to do it because it all requires is one band and an attachment free setup, but it's by no means the best way to do it. Plus, you're really not getting the angles that you want, you're not getting the eccentric contraction that you're looking for, and ultimately the band is going to rub on your arms unless you have sleeves on, and it's not going to be a very comfortable exercise. Let me show you a different variation that might work for you more effectively. Ultimately, the best way to go ahead and do flies is going to be in an attached setting. But often, you don't have a couple of bars to attach up to. You only have one bar. So let me show you a couple of ways you can do flies that way. First of all, just using a single band, you can hit flies doing one arm at a time. Now, the key thing in here is make sure the band is in the palm of your hand. So as you go to pull, the pressure is in the palm of your hand and you're not gripping the band and pulling it across like that. You definitely don't want to be gripping it like this and pulling it across like that. It's going to be uncomfortable on your hand. It's also not going to be effective at engaging the muscle correctly. Put it into the palm of your hand and go ahead and squeeze and bring it back. Unfortunately, that's going to be working one arm at a time. Let me show you how to go ahead and work two arms at a time using the same setup. Okay, so we got one band attachment with a pair of bands that are equal size. We're going to go ahead and put it put ourselves in between the bands, put the band on each palm, again, so we have the pressure against the palm of our hands. We're gonna start ourselves out, and now we're gonna do our flies in this fashion. Now, great eccentric load with this setup, but it's the concentric pull through right there, from about here to here, that's gonna be more forward pressing than pulling together. So as a result of that, you're not gonna quite feel the contraction you're looking for with this setup, but it's still a great setup. So go ahead and give that one a try. Now, let me take you through the ultimate fly setup using resistance bands. Okay, so the best way to do flies is off of two bars or two attachment points. You can see I have a door behind me, and as a result of that, that'll give you an idea of how wide my bars are apart. Now, the reason I want my bars wide apart is because as I'm going ahead and doing the fly movement, I'm gonna go ahead and get a great eccentric contraction because the band is pulling me back. As a result, my trunk is engaged. But now as I pull through, my angle is gonna be a little bit more outward than right behind me like it was on the previous example. So I can pull through. Now, the key thing is getting your bands wide apart. This is one width that does work better. Let me show you another width that works even better. Okay. The best way to go ahead and do flies using resistance bands is attach the bands so they are to the side of you or slightly behind you, but the angle is going to be much more outward than behind you. What that's going to allow you to do now is it's going to allow you to sneak forward and go ahead and still get the eccentric pulling back of the exercise, but now because the bands are to the side, you're going to get a much more aggressive horizontal vector force which is gonna allow you to go ahead and really challenge the chest to have to work during the fly movement. Plus, with the ascending resistance, you're gonna get that great squeeze at the end of the movement that you're gonna enjoy having to really engage your chest and make flies a great exercise using You have it. multiple ways to go ahead and do resistance band train flies. Ultimately, I think you're gonna find you enjoy them even more than pulley system flies or dumbbell flies. Why? Because the ascending resistance allows you to get that great contraction with that great eccentric contraction. And ultimately, that's what makes your flies awesome. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for joining me in the band gym today. And like always, go ahead and keep getting better with bands so you can stay better and enjoy those flies.